oceans recently and we live in a Red Sea here. Red from the Reds, from commies, communists, socialists, left wing. Ours are somewhat reformed, but still sort of communists, which is bad. Um, they have uh, a leader who has been convicted, sentenced to jail, suspended sentence, but still was sentenced to jail. And he's not just the leader of this uh, socialist bunch of idiots and thieves, but they insist on having him uh, as prime minister. Even if the president, uh, a decent good guy, Johannes, uh, said that he will not name, he will not confirm, he will not accept as uh, PM a man who has a conviction. And he was referring to this uh, uh, redneck, mustachio redneck. Goddamn awful uh, villain. So it is upsetting, and one starts to think what is democracy good for if it produces such results? Trump in America, perhaps Pepe Grillo, a kind of Michael Moore of Italian extraction. Uh, who knows, Marine Le Pen, Putin in Russia, not, and not just Putin in Russia. Uh, an 80% or thereabouts approval rating. Come on. And elected with huge majorities. Again, I don't know, 70%, 80%. <laughs> really? That's democracy? That's, that's good? better a divine solution. I don't know if it, it would be better if there would be a God who could just anoint, uh, take a, a, a good despot, a good, uh, a good uh, dictator. I'm thinking now Pinochet. Pinochet was a cruel man and uh, he, he stepped on some bodies, I think, for sure. But, uh, it's not a question. I'm only thinking the good part where he created the market economy. I think he, con he consulted Milton uh, Friedman and some wonderful economists. And anyway, he pushed Chile in the really excellent direction. Without, I mean, somebody who's doing that, all the right good things, um, and another. Uh, None of the killing, of course. Um, um, then, of course, democracy means uh, the freedom to speak, and that's necessary. Uh, what would be the best solution? The educated, also educated uh, electors. Uh, I mean, people who need to show that they know, first of all, how to read. And then that they have a, a basic knowledge of of what's going on for parties of, of if it's going to economical solutions that's probably pushing it too far uh, but it, it a better solution needs to uh, needs to be found because uh, it doesn't work this way I mean if far right countries, uh, parties come to power. Austria was a near miss. The newly elected, not the latest round, but in spring or whenever, the newly elected uh, far right, uh, the first far right leader in the Western, uh, in Western Europe. So, where is this going? One starts to wonder. We'll see.